Path of Exiles 3.25 expansion, Settlers of Kolgur, gave us a new experimental type of currency called Gamer Bathwater. Sorry, wrong script. It was gold! It can drop pretty much everywhere in the game and is used to upgrade King's Marge as well as pay workers. It's also used for the currency exchange market, which is hacking amazing. I want gold to stay, but I also have a few issues with it. Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm happy that we have Parandis coins. I mean, Aureus coin. I mean, gold. For the people who skipped this league or didn't watch any of the dozen gold farming strats on youtube.com, let me briefly tell you what gold is in Path of Exile. Gold is a type of currency that can't be traded and is automatically picked up when you get near it. You can see a brief animation next to your character when you pick it up. Additionally, you can see your current gold on your character in the inventory right here. As mentioned in the intro, you can use it in King's March, which is the 3.25 hub area. And additionally, you can use it to pay your fees to Faustus, which trades items for you in the currency exchange market. How do you get it? Thanks to the amazing community that figured this out, the game transforms or converts items to gold. So instead of finding a bunch of items you don't care about, you may see fewer items on the ground and a few gold drops. It also scales depending on the monster type. So blue or magic monsters have a higher affinity to drop more gold. That's why increasing the monsters in your map, specifically magic monster pack size, is so popular. I do it because I like seeing a bunch of mobs and getting more loot. So for me, it's the best of both worlds. Hannah Montana 2006. <laughs> now you know why you need gold and how to get it. I definitely want gold to stay and would love to see some changes to it. But first off... What even are my issues with it? First off, the pickup radius is strange. It's the same radius we have now for picking up items. The radius itself is great and also feels slightly realistic for this type of ARPG. I can't imagine a screen-wide auto pickup in Path of Exile, but I can imagine it in Lost Ark. It's difficult to put it into words, but I think you know what I mean. Still, I keep saying auto pickup, which it technically is, but if gold doesn't drop right underneath your little feet, you still have to click a button or key to walk over to it. It's pretty much the same as if I would pick up any item. I thought we wanted to minimize clicking. Isn't that the point of auto pickup to begin with? Beside that, and I'm paraphrasing here, but Mark also mentioned it should be about how much your character has played. Gold is just dropping as items from killing everything in the game. Um, you kill monsters, you play the game, you're getting gold. So the more you play PoE in the end game, which is running maps, the more gold you have. I can say from personal experience that is definitely correct. If I run a bunch of maps, I get quite a lot of gold, as seen in my video last week, when I showed off how to farm currency with an Alkan Gold strategy. By the way, thanks for the comments and keeping me accountable for a mistake I made in a video. I appreciate it. So I like what Mark is saying, but we all know that isn't really the case as of right now. Sanctum runners, five-way legion farmers, simulacrum enjoyers, blight enthusiasts, and I think the list goes on, they do not see enough gold. Period. If players decide that is what they are farming, all league, because they enjoy it, they are screwed. They literally cannot keep up with the average wage prices on workers in King's March, as far as I know. I'm also not counting players that play like 16 hours a day. We have to keep the non-degenerate players in mind here. Those types of players are also screwed if they wanted to sell or buy things through the currency exchange market. I don't mind paying a few thousand gold to trade Chaos for Divines. 
but I'm sure bulk selling currency after you ran 100 sanctums is quite difficult with the new system. Still, to back off a bit, it's understandable that they didn't want to take the time to implement this across many, many leagues because it takes, well, time. But also, what if people really disliked it? All that time would have been wasted, which is really bad from a business point of view. So they probably thought to implement it in a more basic way before going all in for 3.25. One last thing I want to mention, which is more of a psychological thing, is that I can't imagine myself playing any map for an extended period of time that doesn't have narrow corridors. And I'm not talking about corridor digital here. <laughs> what do I mean with this? Currently, with the small pickup radius, the most efficient way for me is to farm maps with narrow corridors, like silo, toxic sewer, waste pool, channel, and so on. In addition to that, I turned off most gold drops, because I want to click as little as possible to be able to play more. I do not care, nor do I even like seeing gold drops of around 50 or even 100 in my maps. It makes me cringe a bit, because if that drops on the edge of the screen, I think twice of picking that up. If you think similarly or like that effortless way of farming gold, you may also realize tier 17s are the best way to farm gold, not only because they drop way more, but also many of them are just narrow corridors. I don't like that system currently, and I think GGG is probably doing something for 3.26, so let me stop being a negative Nancy. Let's be positive and talk about suggestions. Maybe GGG adds improvements in 3.26 if gold goes core, but let's be honest, it has to go core, right? First off, as mentioned, I don't like seeing small gold drops in maps. So my suggestion would be a keystone on the Atlas skill tree that makes the final map boss harder, but also drop all the gold from the map in one massive stack. Second, and probably way more difficult, is to not convert items into gold, but have gold drop naturally. This could also then be added as natural loot in other league mechanics. Currently, because of some sort of conversion, it probably can't really drop in Simulacrum, where you might not have enough items to begin with. You also don't want to take the few items away from the player and give gold instead. So gold could be added as a natural drop and fix that. Those are the two good suggestions I thought of, but why not briefly mention a few bad ones too. How about adding increased gold drop chance to the skill tree? I mean, I would like to spend 10 skill points to get more gold instead of damage or defense. Sounds like a flawless idea. <laughs> Why not have Faustus turn items into gold? That fixes the issue of having to pick up a bunch of small gold drops across many maps. An item is a click, but could also be turned into 1 to 5k gold. I'm sure all the bot accounts won't buy a thousand uniques on the trade market for 1c each and then turn it into a few million gold. Doesn't sound like it could be abused at all. Wait, can you hear this? I can hear the sound of mechanical keyboards from Python scripters. <laughs> so what did we learn today, chat? Gold is complicated. Gold is great, not only for degens like myself, but also for free-to-play players that can now easily and instantly trade items on the currency exchange market. I hope in 3.26, if gold goes core, that some of the issues I mentioned will be fixed or improved upon. I would love to play different maps that aren't narrow corridors or else I lose my mind and wrists. I really don't want to start playing big open maps and having to vacuum every square meter. That's about this much in square feet. You're welcome, Merkins. 
I'm also not like this guy over here. He would probably love to vacuum up gold all day. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe. And stay hydrated, gamers. No one's gonna notice that, right? <laughs>